Hi guys, it's Jay again from Ayaba's Wind. I am back to do your reading of the new year for the sign of Virgo. I hope all has been well. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please like the video, definitely share, and certainly subscribe. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if you identify with anything in the reading and you'd like to follow up with me um, in getting a personal reading, you can email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D, 999 at gmail.com. All right, so let's get started, guys. Um, Spirit is talking about um, something about a curse as it relates to you, okay? Either someone is actively going to be cursing you, um, or there has been a curse that has been placed on you. Maybe that curse was placed on you since birth. Or there's something regarding a curse, okay? Curse and phenomena around you. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, um, and it covers not just love, it covers everything under the sun um, as it relates to the next few months, okay? Um, and some of the information may apply to you, all of it may apply, or none of it may apply to you, all right? And the, the, um, the events could take place in the next several days, several weeks, or several months. And as to how it resolves and what, when it resolves is based on your, um, the, the spiritual work that you do, okay, to resolve it. The spirit is saying that you can tend to be um, stubborn and that, you know, um, you don't like to listen to advice. The spirit is saying it's going to be in your best interest to listen to the advice that's given to you, okay? There is a lot of spiritual heat around you or there's going to be a lot of spiritual heat around you and spiritual heat is not good you want to keep things cool spirit is saying that there could be you know phenomena that you're encountering or experiencing you know um like you know um you know goosebumps when you walk into a place you know you could be seeing things feeling things um that the normal person might not okay spirit is saying um if you have children in the household at this time, one or two of those children may become sick, okay? Um, so, you know, with this phenomena, this energy that's around you, you know, sickness could come into play, okay? So you definitely want to be, um, you know, spiritually cleaning out your house regularly. You can smoke it out, frankincense and myrrh, copal, C-O-P-A-L, smoke the house out from um, the back to the front. Okay, and um, you can mop out your house with ammonia and water. Just make sure the windows are open so you don't pass out. Um, you can also use pine saw, um, and then you can mop in with something fresh and floral, okay? Spirit's talking about, um, you know, with the feminines that are watching this, that you may have some challenges with your menstrual cycle, and Spirit is just acknowledging this, Okay. Spirit's talking about at this time, it's really important for you to not become involved in other people's affairs, okay? Because, you know, people can point the blame on you. It's something about you catching the blame for something. Whether you had involvement in it or not, Spirit, Spirit is saying that people are going to be looking to blame you for things that they haven't already blamed you, okay? And Spirit's saying that, you know, if you get sick, this sickness could keep you in bed for a while, okay? It could really knock you off your feet, all right? Spirit is talking about um, something about your living arrangements or where you live or how things are designed in your house. Spirit is saying that, that those things need to be changed, changed around. It's either your physical living space that needs to be changed around or your lifestyle needs to be changed around because it's something that is not good for you it's not conducive it may be um <clears throat> very stagnant energy and so spirit wants you to progress right and so in order to progress you need to change things up it would be beneficial for you to do like a home based out of way herb bath you can get it on amazon.com or originalbotanica.com and then you can follow up with like an Abre Camino bath, which is an open road bath. And then, you know, smooth things out with a, a nice white bath, okay? The white bath should be done, you know, at least a couple of times a month, all right? And you can dump those white baths over your head. You can air dry, dress in white, and definitely sleep in white. White sheets, white comforter, white pillows. 
white clothing, okay, and keep your head covered in white, okay? Um, and Spirit is talking about, um, it's something about, you may have some challenges with sleeping, um, sleeping well. Spirit is talking about not being able to sleep well. And, you know, maybe this lack of sleep could be contributing to a feeling of just being fed up, you know, and, you know, Spirit is saying that, you have options, okay? Let's put it that way. You have options to look on the bright side and to work some options out and to, to start planning and strategizing how to, you know, deal and approach with certain challenges and issues that you may face, okay? Spirit is talking about you may um, hear of the death of, of someone from far away. So Spirit is saying that someone's going to be crossing into the ancestor realm, so you may hear about this, okay? Spirit, again, is talking about mind your business. Don't get caught up in other people's affairs, you know, bochinchando, gossiping, talking, because Spirit is saying that you could possibly even lose your eyesight. There may be an altercation. There may be something that happens, you know, around this, um, you know, involvement in other people's affairs that can cause you to lose your eyesight. So please be very careful. Spirit is talking about also news of a pregnancy. You could hear that someone is pregnant. You may even get pregnant. Um, but Spirit is announcing the news of um, a possible pregnancy, okay? But Spirit wants you to be mindful of some kind of um, cramping in either the legs, the arms, the stomach. But there's going to be some kind of discomfort in one of these areas, in which case you definitely want to go get it um, checked out by your physician, okay? You know, Spirit is talking about at this time, it's not going to be good for you to eat the, the insides of animals, you know, and that includes sausage. Um, it includes hot dogs. It includes um, livers and kidneys, you know, um, uh, what else does it include? Like chitlins. Spirit is saying that these items are not going to be beneficial for you because with this energy that's around, you know, spirit is, is wanting you to stay healthy and strong. Um, and these items can sometimes tend to cause cancers and growths. Okay. So spirit is wanting you to be to monitor anything that is abnormal, any kind of tumors, growths, or things like that. Spirit wants you to go to the doctor immediately if you sense that something is wrong in that um, category, okay? You know, Spirit is saying that, again, with this phenomena, you know, you may see phenomena manifesting in the form of, like, like leaks, like just strange leaks, like plumbing leaks, cracks in the ceiling, cracks just strange things, okay? And Spirit is saying that, you know, you definitely have to clean out your house spiritually and you got to do this periodically, okay? Because there could be some kind of um, entity in your house that may be disrupting the balance and the harmony in your, in your house, okay? Um, Spirit is talking about, you know, it will be beneficial for you that when you go and you pray and meditate, to try and pray like at the top of a hill, you know, or by a river, you know, connect with nature um, to kind of fortify and strengthen and, um, you know, strengthen your prayers, okay? Um, Spirit is talking about at this time, you know, you should try not in all of your power not to take care of other people's children, okay, if you can help it. If it is your livelihood, do what you got to do to make your money. But Spirit is saying that, you know, if this is the case, you got to be extra vigilant with watching those kids, especially kids that are not yours. Because Spirit is saying that something could happen to these children and you'll be the blame for it, okay? You know, the ch child could get sick. There could be an accident. The worst case scenario, possible something could more serious could happen to the child. So spirit is trying to protect you and saying, if you don't have to watch someone's kids, then don't, okay? And if, if you do have to watch that person's kids, make sure you have someone helping you, okay, that is trustworthy. 
Um, because spirit is saying that, you know, um, something could possibly happen with that child, okay? Um, spirit is also talking again with these curses. Someone could be cursing you, but at the same time, you have to watch cursing others. Because spirit is saying with this energy that is around, that curse that you send out can come right back to you. Okay. And so spirit is saying, just hold that the spirit will manage, you know, anyone who wishes you harm and danger. Okay. The spirit is talking about because there is this, all of this phenomena that is around you and spirit is saying that you need to place night lights all throughout your house. Okay. Night lights are going to be critical, especially night lights in your bedroom. Okay. Spirit is saying, because there's this phenomena that's around you, you don't need to promote it anymore and help it to thrive by sleeping in darkness because this entity will thrive in darkness. And spirit is saying, you know, you need to cut it <laughs> with putting some night lights on around your house. Okay. And spirit is saying also because of this phenomena, this entity that may be in your home. Okay. That people who come over who are sick could get sicker in coming over to your house. People who are sick, their vibration is low, okay? And so they are susceptible to spiritual attacks um, and entity possessions, okay? And so spirit is saying because you may have this entity in your house, it will prey on the weakest um, who weakest that are in the household and the weakest could be possibly young children, um, and definitely sick people. Okay. Um, the spirit is saying that you can, um, you can get some cascaria, um, from amazon.com or your local botanica and mark eight lines over your door. Okay. You're the door to your house. And with each line, you're praying for protection. With each line, you can pray like the 23rd Psalm or the 91st Psalm. And you're praying to protect your home, um, protect the people in your home from negative energies, dark energies that may come in with people or that may be sent to you through Brujeria and witchcraft, okay? Um, Spirit's talking about, you know, within your house, you should definitely be keeping your doors open, okay? Spirit is saying dividing up your house is not good. It's going to actually promote and strengthen these entities in your house. So keep doors open, keep everything flowing. Do not divide rooms up with like putting sheets up and all that stuff. Spirit is like that will actually um, pull the entity in stronger, okay? And so you definitely don't want that. At this time, try not to be eating a lot of eggs, um, like omelets and all of that, you know, just kind of ease up on the eggs for the next couple of months. And also, you know, because of the phenomena that may be in your home and you know, if there's phenomena in your home, because you're going to feel like this unsteadiness and imbalance, you may feel like something is watching you, you know, you may get like goosebumps, you may get a weird feeling. Spirit is saying, you know, you definitely got to clean from under your bed because, you know, these dark energies like to hide in, in um, clutter, okay? And so you definitely need to clear out from under your bed, you know, clear out, clear out your closets, you know, remove um, as many empty boxes and bottles and all of that from your house as possible, okay? So these spirits don't live in them. Um, and definitely, you know, definitely get a blood panel done. Go to your doctor um, every three to six months from here on in and make sure your blood is getting checked regularly, okay? Um, you know, there is definitely phenomena around. It's not for you to be scary, but you got to be on your A game, you know, taking your white baths, you know, smoking your house out, you know, um, letting the light in, you know, opening up windows, letting fresh breezes in not keeping doors closed in your house, please, because that helps the entities to thrive, okay? You know, again, there's this whole theme of someone blaming someone, someone placing fault on someone, you know, um, Spirit is saying that, um, you know, you may be cleared of blame because of lack of evidence, okay? So, you know, 
just keep your eyes open for that. Spirit is saying, you know, that you may be at a crossroads, that a decision is going to have to be made, almost like that two of swords in classic tarot. Um, the spirit is saying that, you know, there are going to have to be two people that you're going to be torn between, okay? Or someone that's around you is torn between two people, okay? Spirit is talking about like this whole, again, like this gossip thing and getting involved in other people's affairs. It is not going to be good for you and it will be a trap, okay? And one thing can lead to another and people are going to point the fingers at you, all right? This pregnancy thing, there's a, there's pregnancy vibes and energy around. So you may feel, find out that someone is pregnant or that you are pregnant. So prepare for that, all right? Spirit is talking about, you know, watch and monitor for sickness, you know, in the stomach um, or in the joints, all right? Um, for the feminine energies, you know, um, even the masculine, it, it doesn't matter. But spirit is saying that you got to be careful with other people's men, okay? And so what does that mean? If you're feminine and say you're into the opposite sex, and, you know, you go visit your girlfriend and her husband, okay, and you go out and smoke a cigarette, then the husband is a smoker, he goes out and smokes a cigarette, and your girlfriend's inside, and y'all are smoking cigarettes together outside, you and your friend's husband, okay, and then you get to talking, <laughs> and the talking leads to a really in-depth conversation, one thing leads to another, and what turns out to be what was supposed to be a five or 10 minute smoke break now turns into an hour and your girlfriend is inside like, okay, what is going on? Why is my man out there with her for an hour? Spirit is saying you got to watch it around other people's men. Okay. Not to say that you're going to do something or make moves. It could be that man that makes some moves on you. But again, you're going to be the culprit. You're going to be the one to blame. So you got to watch it, okay? Um, Spirit is saying if you are a masculine and you are a father and you're taking care of your children, Spirit is recognizing this and, and many blessings are going to be coming to you um, within this new year, okay? Spirit is talking about money be, may be a little tight, all right? And just hold tight. You can do, um, you can do periodically um, a money bath. You can make it with parsley and mint. And um, you may even want to add some oregano to that. Get the fresh herbs from the supermarket. It's only like a dollar or two dollars. Get a nice big bowl of cool and tepid water and start ripping and shredding the leaves in the water to release the ache, the spirit, the spiritual energy, the magic of the plant into the water. And as you're ripping and shredding, you can have a candle, a white candle, a green candle lit. You're praying for financial blessings to come in. You're praying praying for how you want it, how much you need, what, what you're going to use that money for, this, this, and that. Once you finish praying, you finish praying over that, you're going to blow your breath over it. You're going to wash with soap and water, rinse off, and then you're going to um, dump this over you. You're going to air it dry. You can take this bath for three, three days, okay? Three nights in a row, all right? And you can make one big bath. And you can um, separate it out into three days so you don't have to keep making it over and over again. But try it for three nights in a row and see, okay? Um, the Spirit's talking about um, if you have three children, this only applies if you have three children, um, the third child um, may be the one that needs to receive spiritual help spiritual assistance okay how do you know if your child may be plagued by something spiritually if they have um you know out of the ordinary be strange behavioral issues or they can't sleep you know where they're saying they're, they're talking to an invisible friend you know they're seeing things this could be indication that there is some kind of spiritual um, energy around this child that is in particular, uh, particularly attracted to this particular child, okay? 
And spirit is saying that this child may need some spiritual work done, okay? And so, you know, children are very sensitive and they are receptive to these energies, whether they like it or not. Um, one thing you could do is make sure you dress the child in white. Make sure the child is sleeping in white sheets and white comforter, white um, pillow cases. Make sure you have night lights on in the room for the child. Um, you can also give the child a nice white bath. Um, you can wash the child's head in, in pure coconut water, provided, provided the child doesn't have allergies to coconut. But uh, Spirit is saying that this child might need some spiritual help. Okay, you, you know, if you have people over your house, you have to be really vigilant in making sure that those people who come, they take their items back home with them. Because Spirit is saying that there could be some kind of brujerio, witchcraft that is left on one of these items that can be left in, in your house, okay? Uh, and, and in which case you too always have to, after people come to your house, you got to smoke that house out. OK, because what happens is whether people know it or not, they walk with their own spiritual entourages, spirits and whatever it is that walk with them and they come to your house. These spirits could be attracted to you. They could be attracted to something in your house and they can stay and the person leaves. And so the person leaves their spiritual shit at your house and then you're left to deal with it. You can't sleep. You're seeing things, you're feeling things. So spirit is saying after people visit your house, you got to smoke your house out with frankincense and myrrh. You can use sage, copal, C-O-P-A-L, smoke that shit out, <laughs> okay? Um, and spirit is talking about like, <sighs> there could be someone, a family member who needs prayers, okay? There could be a family member who wants prayers, okay? This family member could be crossed over into the ancestor realm, or there could be someone in your family that's not really speaking up, that may not be well. Um, Spirit is saying that there's a family member that's going to need prayers, okay? And so you can, you know, pray the 23rd Psalm for this family member or the 91st Psalm, but Spirit is saying that prayers are gonna be needed for this person, okay? Um, Spirit is talking about, you know, at this time, you know, provided that you are safe, that taking care of your family is going to be critical for you, okay? Um, uh, because Spirit is talking about if you don't take care of your family, you could lose them, all right? And so Spirit is, is definitely wanting you to, you know, be safe, of course, self-preservation, but also be mindful of those people in your family that may, may need help. Okay, spirit is recommending that you consult with a spiritual advisor um, before you um, accept um, a marriage proposal, before you get married, okay, um, before you accept an engagement or a marriage proposal, okay, because spirit is, is saying that, you know, you may need some spiritual guidance um, in order for this marriage to work out successfully, okay. You know, it's, it's just, Spirit is talking about indecisiveness, okay? Um, and Spirit is, is this whole marriage thing, um, matrimony and commitment, it is also a big theme that's going to be around you for the next couple of months. Spirit is announcing matrimony, but it's also announcing a war between men and women. OK, um, and so if there is not a war now, spirit is saying that there soon could be a war between men and women where, you know, two people may not be getting along, you know, in the house. There could be kind of weird things happening. And so spirit is wanting you to to watch for that. OK, and direct your prayers to that. All right. Definitely check your blood because spirit is announcing the possibility for some kind of, you know, Maybe a bacteria, born disease, some kind of blood disease or something that could manifest if you are not vigilant with your, you know, taking care of your health, going to the doctor regularly, okay? And that's why you definitely have to check your blood um, periodically. And Spirit is mentioning that, you know, 
if this is a dark spirit that is around you, that there, there, there is a dark spirit that wants to attach to you, okay? Now, you can pot potentially pick up this dark spirit through some kind of intimate contact with, you know, if you're having sex with someone, you know, and, and um, there's a lot of lust, okay? And maybe you two, for some reason, you can't be together, but you are together physically and sexually, you know, it could be that you could pick up a dark spirit that way, you know, especially if the person is already in a serious committed relationship, there could be some dark energy around that that you could pick up, okay, as a result of a connection that that person has with their um, person that they're in a relationship with, all right? You know, spirit is saying that you got to do a lot of spiritual cleanings, you know, um, the white bath is going to be your best friend. In fact, for all of the readings that I've done for all of the signs, there's a lot of heat in the world, spiritual heat, volatility. That's what I mean by heat, okay? And everybody is going to have to stay cool by wearing a lot of white, keeping your head covered in white, sleeping in white sheets, white comforters, you know, um, taking a lot of white baths, keeping your head cool with um, pure coconut water, um, putting a little bit of, of, of cocoa butter on your head, um, on your scalp, and provide you don't have allergies because there's a lot of spiritual heat here, okay? The Spirit is saying that, you know, because of all this volatility, you know, you got to be careful in talking your business and speaking your plans and telling your secrets, okay? Because friend today, enemy tomorrow. Um, Spirit is talking about that it could be either you or the person that you're involved with that, you know, could have some issues and challenges with their heart. There could be some heart problems. It could be as, as small as like a, a heart murmur. There could be um, maybe some heart disease some cardiovascular issues, um, something regarding the heart, okay? Spirit is talking about, you know, you got to be careful of where you eat because Spirit is saying that someone could put something in your food, okay? If it's not literally someone spitting in your food or putting some kind of um, something <laughs> in your food, you know, they could definitely be putting some kind of um, incantations into the food to either make you feel sick or to entice you and tie you and seduce you, okay? So spirit is wanting you that, you know, if you go to someone's house especially, you definitely have to pray over that food to kind of counter the effects of what this person is wishing on you, okay? You know, spirit is wanting you, you got to be careful of trusting someone that you had tragedy with, all right? Um, the spirit is saying that if you are a masculine watching this, you could be a man that has a lot of women and or a lot of children and spirit is acknowledging this. Spirit's talking about, you know, there could be a lot of confusion and chaos whirling around you. So that is why wearing the white and, and, and you know, doing your mantras, your, your, um, your meditations, you know, white baths and all of that, praying for protection and all of that. You got to check out my mantra playlist do the mantras for love and mantras for protection. Spirit is saying that that's going to be really critical to you getting through these next couple of months, okay? Um, you know, Spirit's talking about, you know, be yourself and, and don't live other people's lives. It's very easy, you know, to get caught up on the whole Facebook slash meta, whatever the hell you want to call it, the Instagram where you're, you know, watching people on vacations and, you know, um, you know, whatever it is that they're doing, Spirit is saying, you got to live your life because your life can pass you by, okay? And you can miss critical things. And Spirit is talking about at this time, you got to be careful with drinking with others, okay? Um, because, you know, people become very uninhibited and um, things could happen and um, that you might not normally um, engage in. 
Okay. And so spirit is also talking about, you know, because there's this war between men and women, the masculine and the feminine, you know, people may be inclined to, you know, rush and want to go look through someone's belongings or go through someone's phone. And, and spirit is saying at this time, do not do that. Okay. No arguments, no carrying weapons, you know, keep your head cool. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Spirit is like, um, you know, you can tend to be stubborn and spirit is acknowledging this, but you got to stay cool, calm and collected. You know, as it relates to your head, you need to keep your head covered, especially from the rain. Do not allow raindrops to fall on your head because that rain has a lot of phenomena and it can cause chaos and confusion. Okay. In your head and there's already, um, you know, confusion going on with you. Okay. Um, the spirit is talking about, you got to be careful of gluttony or of like gluttonous behavior. Okay. That means overdoing something, overeating, over sexing, over drinking, over drugging. All right. Um, be patient, you know, at this time, you know, certain foods you should not be eating. You should not be eating any white foods at this time. Um, that could be high in sugars, you know, high in, um, uh, like breads, like, um, well, the breads break down into carbohydrates, into sugars. So anything white, flour, white sugar, things of that nature, spirit is like, that's a negative for you, okay? Because it can predispose you to getting sick and maybe even um, uh, diabetes, okay? You know, spirit's talking about, um, um, again, there's a lot of phenomena. So you're going to have to do a lot of prayer. You can get some cascaria from Amazon and definitely mark your feet. Um, you can do the sign of the cross with the cascaria on your feet, okay? Um, and, and do work with some cascaria to, to keep this phenomena away from you, okay? And add the cascaria to your white bath as well. Um, the spirit is talking about, you know, it's important for you to, you know, in you being calm, cool, and collected, do not be physically abusive with anyone. Don't hit people in the head because the God force is lives in people's head. Okay. And so, you know, um, you know, think before you speak and when you do speak, speak softly. Okay. Because you're trying to kind of, um, dampen that heat that is around. Okay. Spirit is talking about your health again. Be careful with overdoing it, especially with foods, because your health is at risk, okay, as it relates to um, doing things in excess, all right? Um, and two, don't take foods that people push on you, okay? You may do it out of, you know, you know, being gracious and being grateful and thankful, but Spirit is saying don't take the foods that people push on you because you can get sick. At this time, you should also be limiting your um, intake of fish um, at this time and um, try and limit your intake of fish. Don't let people also to get drunk at your house because that will bring bad luck, okay, um, and, and feed that dark energy that, that could be in your house. Don't um, try not to do anything in threes. That includes business deals. That includes... Um, um, relationships, romantic relationships, because that can lead to tragedy. All right. Try not to walk under ladders and awnings and things of that nature. You really have to protect your head. Don't walk over like poles or sewage grates, things of like that nature in, in the, on the floors, broken floors. That's not good because there could be energies that live in those openings that can come up out and enter into your body and onto your person, okay? But also to, you know, you can lose your blessings um, in these holes, all right? Um, at this point in time, anything regarding like horseback riding, skating, biking, motorcycles, you know, these things at this point in time could potentially cause you um, to get in an accident. So please be very careful and cautious and engaging in these types of activities, okay? You know, definitely don't turn your back to the street. You got to keep your eyes open and no heavy loads because you want to like, you know, preserve your back. Okay. It's very important that, um, 
you be mindful of your interactions with people. And again, you know, don't engage in gossip and things of that nature. Because again, spirit is saying you could be accused of things that you did not do. All right. And you have a lot of enemies. Spirit is saying you got a lot of enemies. People are looking to, you know, put your head on, on the chopping block. I'm saying that my head is tingling. Okay. And spirit is saying you can even see your enemies in your dreams, whether you like it or not, whether it's believable or unbelievable, they could show you your next door neighbor. They could show you your quote unquote best friend. All right. And yeah, that's not pleasant, but spirit is saying that these enemies defame you. They talk shit about you. They talk badly about you. And that in and of itself can be blue heady and witchcraft. You don't need someone standing over a pot, <laughs> you know, murmuring incantations and all that for it to be blue heady and witchcraft. It could be someone's words, you know, um, with the force of emotion behind it that can slice and dice you. And it can have an effect on you and an impact if you are not praying um, a lot, if you're not doing your spiritual baths and, 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 you know, mantras and things of that nature to cut that nonsense. Because this brujeria, this witchcraft is, is, could be causing you problems sleeping, okay? Spirit is saying that anything that you do with your hands to create, to work, um, is going to be your blessing. Okay, and it's going to help to cut the negative energy around you. And the spirit is just saying, like, at the end of the day, in humility lies greatness. So keep it humble this time around for the next couple of months. Keep it low key. Get in your zone with your yoga, your mantras, your meditations. You're wearing white, sleeping in white. Really get in your zone because spirituality is what is going to save a lot of people, okay? Especially my, my subs, people who are part of Ayaba's wind, Ayaba's world, okay? I'm telling you that spirituality is going to be your savior, wearing white, you know, staying in that cool, calm, spiritual space is going to be your savior at this time, okay? Because karma, your spirit is going to be watching you know, um, um, with extra force. Okay. And, and that whole theme of, 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 um, you know, the heart being weighed, um, and, and hopefully being as light as a feather, which has to do with karma and, and, you know, what you've done in your life, you know, spirit is saying that all of this is going to be, you know, coming into play and going to be the focus for 2022. If you like what I'm doing, please like the video, definitely share and certainly subscribe. You are so entirely welcome into Ayaba's Wind family. Um, and I thank you. I appreciate all of the donations that I've received. Keep it coming. Um, and I appreciate each and every one of you. If you'd like a private reading, you can email me at ayabaswind.com. W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. Ciao.